We're in Cambridge, baby. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. Now, this is a special one for me because I grew up here. This is my hometown. This is Cambridge. But still, when I think about this place, I think of the incredible architecture, the amazing university, the bridges, the punting. But apparently, there's a bubbling food and drink scene here. And I'm desperate to find that out because for so long, Cambridge didn't have one. Big thanks to Specialized for working with us on this. Of course, we've come to Cambridge, the home of the bicycle. We had to have some bikes. Two brand new Specialized Turbo e-bikes. <laughs> Rolls Royce. I got that turbo smile on. First up, it's coffee time at Espresso Library. So, Espresso Library, the only started it because they wanted to combine their love of cycling, art, and coffee. Here, there's a little cyclist hangout. They pit stop here before cycling out of the city. Thank you very much. Nice little heart, just for me. Look at that. As well as I know, this is quite a good cyclist breakfast. Short coffee, sugary little pastry. What do you reckon, fork or just in the gob? Yeah, in the gob. In the gob. Oh, mate. I love tarts. Okay, so we just stopped off for a quick coffee. However, this place also does a killer brunch. Caffeine for the queens. Let's go. Okay, so these bikes have assisted pedaling. Three powers, small, medium, and large. Woohoo! 40% lighter than other electric bikes. And this one's got a 90 mile range. We won't be doing more than that today. Well, actually, holding a bike like this reminds me of that photo shoot we did back in the day. Weird, isn't it? It's kind of still weird now, isn't it? Why are we still doing it? Good job these are electric, because Will was maybe cycling up and down this road about 12 times. Next up, the old bicycle shop. This site was formerly the oldest bike shop in the Northern Hemisphere. Today, it does one of the best branches in town. And legend has it, Charles Darwin himself bought his bicycle from here in the 1800s. And if it's good enough for Charlie Boy, Good enough for these two legends, eh? Yeah, buddy. Loving the handlebar antlers up here. Specialised. In the window. Back in the day. Look at that. Thank you very much. Thanks, Paolo. This is the croque madame. Do it between the croque monsieur and the croque madame. Madame's got an egg on top. Oh. What is brunch if you don't have smashed avocado on it? Love it. And fluffy pancakes with chocolate and banana. Point of difference, it's completely plant-based, all vegan. You would never clue, would you? No, mate, you wouldn't know. You absolutely would not know. This is Will's bike for the day, the Como. Super low maintenance with a belt drive. We got luggage up front, up to 15 kilos, perfect for that camera. We've got the controls here, and this bike has a 62 mile range, which hilariously would take us all the way from here back to London. Busy boys. Just pulled up, just turned up at Finn Boys. Now this place is super new, super fresh. It's as fresh as it's food. Only been open a couple of months. And the boys, Richard and Jay, the Finn Boys, were like, there's just not a good fish restaurant in Cambridge. There's not a good fishmongers, and there's not a good fish bar, fish restaurant. So they've opened this place, serving up high grade, beautiful fish and shellfish in very fine dining style with a relaxed atmosphere. Let's go in, meet Jay, heard he's a legend, worked under Gordon Ramsay, and loads of the greats. Mate, what is this? <laughs> Cheers. First beer of the day. Here we have half a dozen oysters with a very fresh little small batch local sauce. This is a super fresh, beautifully crisp oyster boy. This stuff, hello. Sea trout ceviche with tiger milk, coconut, red onion, corn, coriander and chili. Oh, these guys understand flavor. Well, that was absolutely Susan Perb. Come down for the best fish in Cambridge. Say hi to Jay and Richard, top blokes.
Back wheel. Some bread and meat now. <laughs> We're gonna go left to the park. Oh, hello there. <laughs> right, bread and meat next up. I mean, I'm full, but let's do it, yeah? <clears throat> now, we're all for delicate cooking and intricate flavours, but we're two lads with very, very big appetites. And sometimes all we want is some spectacular meat served in bread. And we're here at Bread and Meat for exactly that. We're here to try the pork, the Philly cheesesteak, and the honey soy chicken. Amazing things. Oh, and our dear friend, Chef MC, fed by George, cannot recommend this place enough. He loves it. So you can eat indoors, like here, like right now, indoors, or outside. Not in their restaurant, but in the church garden opposite. Woohoo! This is the poutine. This is the Philly cheesesteak with poutine. Oh, I love how he pronounces poutine. Poutine! It's poutine. Put it in your ass. Bro, this is really, really, really good. Poutine is a French thing. Chips, cheese, and gravy. I say French. I mean, it feels like a North of England thing, but but this is peppery and delicious. I love a dish that's heavy on the old pepper. I feel like I'm at like a royal garden party. This is the roast pork porchetta in a ciabatta. Chocker it is with the old crackling streaking through there, like a vein through marble. I need to get involved. Can I stop filming? Of course you can stop filming, as long as you're at the shop. Right now, we're kind of at the crossroads, right? We can either go really, really in now, and eat loads of this, or we can stop. <laughs> so, so, so good. <clears throat> Sometimes when spots are heavily recommended, doesn't this say mean they're gonna be great? However, that place was, hit all the right buttons. And now we go to another strongly recommended place, Amelie. Will and I love our cycling, but it's not always practical or socially acceptable to be in full Lycra. So these e-bikes make it absolutely perfect for zipping around town. Or, there's always punting. Nah, this is the way forward, man. So you guys heavily recommended Amly to us, and I hadn't heard of it. I did raise an eyebrow when I saw that it was from Grafton Centre because I didn't think the Grafton Centre is where you go to find an innovative, delicious food offering, but times are changing. Times are changing so much in fact that this exact spot used to be a Burger King, and I remember sitting just there when I was 15 years old with my girlfriend. <laughs> and now I'm back here with you, Will. Local golden ale. Oh yeah. Here we have baked camembert. That camembert is like a bloody bar. Two skinny pizzas, two fat lads. These are flambouche style pizzas. Now I hadn't heard of that, but apparently it originated in France, in Alsace, in like the 14th century. And these were farmer towns. With not a huge amount of resources, so they were making food out of what they had. So here is the OG, a skinny, crispy base with gruyere cheese, sliced onions, and bacon. And this vegetarian option, beetroot, ghost cheese, caramelized onions, and pine nuts. Yeah, bro. That's lovely. Similar ingredients, but all the right ones. Cooked beautifully. Mm. Yeah, oh, I'm all about this one. I thought I was gonna be more into the beetroot and goat cheese, but I think I like the, the master blaster. I'm in France. It's a, it's a weird, weird place for a pizza shop. Good pizza, weird spot. There seems to be a direct correlation between great ice cream shops and chews. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's in the nostalgia, the childhood thing that really catches you in the feels. But good, strong, high quality ice cream or gelato shops thrive. But Jack Gelato is this that good. Everybody keeps saying, careful the cues. What? Why is that just a common conception all the time? We V V V V V V V V I P. We don't do the cue, bro. Let's go get the cue. Lower jokes. Oh, peasants. <laughs> it's not gonna make it in. That's ridiculous. After a life of making ice cream at home and in restaurants, Jack took everything he had, 
took all his life savings, stuck it into an ice cream shop and opened Jack's Gelato in Cambridge. They have interesting flavors, not just, not just any old rum and raisin. <laughs> I love rum and raisin, but I don't have any. Every day, Jack puts on a secret flavor. So what's secret today? Apparently a double cinnamon biscuit, but that was a secret. Damn it, wasn't what I say. I did say I wanted rum and raisin, but what I've got is elevated rum and raisin. This is Nika Japanese whiskey ice cream Ooh, on roasted banana in their waffle cone. Big up Jack and your gelato. Chilaton, we're at Mikado Central. God, you could club some of that. Yeah, <laughs> a weapon. Yeah. Javi has just shown me the uh, Chilaton from HG Walter, Lovely. AKA Tom Hawk, as yeah. some you know, of the Western world call it. But Lovely. that is, that's it's majestic. This yeah. is what happens when Spain and England make something together. Can I pick it up? Yeah, of course. It's just, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of psycho, I think. <laughs> so we're riding down this road earlier, and we hear, well, it's James. James went to school with Will. I actually thought you were recognized for Top Jaw, but just your mate from school. <laughs> and James was like, have you tried this place out? Mercado, it's amazing. Spanish tapas, sharing plates. And we were like, no, but we've, we've actually got a slot this evening. One thing leads to another and we're here. And now we've got goblets of sangria. Cheers, James. Oh, here it is. Spanish Iberico ham croquet, made with super love, and I think they do. Super love, super. made with super love. He's put super love into this. Iberico ham croquettes. Mm. This little banger here, hey carpaccio on a bed of charred aubergine. Charred on their Spanish coals. I'm not talking about their plums. And this is the tuna tartar. Didn't think you were. <laughs> this is the tuna tartar. This is the tuna tartar with ajo blanco. And apparently that is the real Heavy hitter, the wig splitter. Tuna tartar, let's get more of that. Oh. We saw Javi early this morning and you're still here <laughs> and you're still cracking on. Are you are you head chef? I am, the, yeah, kind of head yeah. chef. Okay, cool, so this is hedge tomato. Yeah, with a uh, emulsion of uh, basil, um, rocket, and the tomatoes coming from France. Super good, super natural. Okay, heritage tomatoes from France that apparently we're going to taste the rainbow with, with the basil rocket emulsion. Yeah. Happy wow, this is. Thank you very much. You. Thank you, everybody. So you saw me holding that earlier. This is what happens when you turn it into the good stuff. <laughs> nice. Yeah, eat Tom Hawk steak and laugh like a fucking devil. <laughs> it's really going to go down well. I was like, we are eating like kings. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Love you long time. Let's go. Thank you. Abby. Yes, mate, loved it. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Mercado Central. We love that. Javi, Danny, top blokes. We've got new friends. This is exactly what Top Jaw is all about. Celebrating the great things. We're not here to critique. We're not here to trash. If we go somewhere and we don't particularly like it, you won't see us posting it. Everywhere we feature, we've gone, boom, that was great. And it's particularly poignant, particularly valid at a time like this, when restaurants, no matter what you are, if you're in hospitality, you've had a terrible time recently. These guys technically opened in 2019. Today, in July 2021, they've actually been open six months. Six months total because they've been open closed, open closed. Not their fault, but they are brilliant people who love what they do, care what they do, and you can see that come through in their cooking and their personalities if you give it the time. It was fantastic. Let's go get five, though. Yeah, let's get four. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Fancy some pint shopping, Will? Lock that baby up, bro. We are two more delicious pints. Maybe three. And then home time. Okay, this is Pine Shop, right by the Corn Exchange. It's kind of where it's at, they're really excited to come because they have 16 beers on tap, 16 kegs. And right here, this is what the locals know of Pine Shop. So here you can choose your poison. You've got the information, the alcohol content, where they're from. I haven't tried every single one of them, but I reckon they're good. Pine Shop is all about the beer. 
like going to a wine bar or a place that's absolutely besotted with wine. Hello. These guys are besotted with beer. And the food is designed to perfectly accompany the beer. That scrambled egg is very, very good. Better than a cabbage cream egg. Will eats 10 cabbage cream eggs a week. Sarah told me you do, so you do. She actually thinks it's a problem. No, the diabetes is the issue. The cabbage cream eggs are <laughs> <laughs> the catalyst. Love your beer garden through there, mate. People with actual mates. Oh, yeah, James is our friend. I've met James today. <laughs> It's good, bro. Yeah, it's really good. I'm struggling to eat because of all the food that's in my system. Will, that is it. We came, we saw, we conquered. We wanted to see the food scene in Cambridge, and we certainly have done that. A few thanks to give. Big one specialised for giving us those absolute whiz machines. Absolute perfect city bike. I mean, couldn't get around this town any other way. Big thanks to James. We haven't really focused on this, but James seriously knows his wines. And we love that. Thorn wines, buy some, love some, drink some. That's a good, I should use that. Buy <laughs> some, love some, drink some, you shouldn't. I might have said it with confidence. It doesn't mean it's any good. No, it's normally down there. Not down, down there. Subscribe, <laughs> please. <laughs>